what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you the LaceUp route delivery software. I'm gonna show you how to key in an order in the back office and then send that order down to the handheld so that it can be invoiced in the field by your driver. To begin creating an order in the back office, you go to create. The first step is to select the customer. Now remember that orders come in in a few different ways. They can come in via email, fax, text message or over the phone. In this example, I'm going to pretend as if I'm receiving a phone call with a customer putting in a purchase order. Let's assume that the customer calling is Arnold's store. When I click Arnold's store, it'll pull up an order template with what the customer normally orders. Let's assume that over the phone call, the customer orders two of these, two of these, two of these, and two of these. What I'm able to do with this template is I'm able to present the customer with the products that he or she has ordered in the past that perhaps they forgot about ordering for the future. For example, Cafe Rico Rico, they ordered this last on 326 and they ordered three. All I have to do is present it to the customer and then key in the quantity here, assuming that they agree and that they order one additional Cafe Rico Rico. So what I'm gonna do is key in all the products that the customer orders. If there's a PO number, I'm gonna put it in up here and I'm gonna set the delivery date for today just so we can run a test and I can show you how that order goes down to the handheld. When I'm done creating the order, I go save and close and obviously I hang up the phone with the customer. The next step is to print the pick ticket. The pick ticket's going to enable the warehouse manager or picker to go out to the warehouse to pick the merchandise. If you look here, this is the code, the item description, and the quantities ordered. Here the picker writes what he or she was able to pick from the warehouse. This document's returned back to the back office manager, at which point the order can be adjusted. Once the order is adjusted, the order is then sent from process orders to the delivery section. To send the order, you simply click send. If you go into delivery, you'll see that the order is right here. I'm going to go ahead and assign this order to Pepe. So I've just assigned an order on 326 for Arnold Store 23 to Pepe. On 326, Pepe is going to come to work with his handheld and he's going to sync the handheld. To sync the handheld, he simply clicks the three dots and he syncs. That's going to download his route for the day, including the order that I've just put in. In addition to the order coming down, his inventory is coming down so that he can accept the inventory getting loaded onto his truck. If you look, there's one stop, Arnold Store 23. To deliver this invoice to the customer, I tap on it and the system's going to ask me if I would like to clock in. The answer is yes. Here's the order with the order number or the invoice number and the PO number that I keyed in. I can then go in and modify the order if the customer refuses anything or if anything's damaged or returned along the way. To do a return, I go to add credit. At this point, I'm able to pick up any stale or damaged goods at the customer. I tap on the item and it'll ask me whether I'm picking up a bad dump or a good return. Let's do a return. When I click done, it's going to combine the return items with my sales items. I'm ready to finalize the ticket and invoice the customer. To do so, I select this check mark and I click finalize. At this point in time, I'm able to capture proof of delivery. I open up collect signature and I pass the tablet to the receiver, at which point they sign the tablet. Next, if it's a COD account, I'll collect payment. Save payment, done. And lastly, I'm gonna print the invoice.
Now it says that the invoice has been finalized and I've invoiced the customer and handed them the copy of their invoice. Lastly, I'm going to clock out of the stop. And if you look, there's now a green check mark indicating that I've completed the stop. This is what I'm going to do as a driver throughout the day. The difference is that instead of it being one order, it's going to be multiple. At the end of the day, I'm going to do my end of day close to transmit that invoice and others to the back office so it can go to QuickBooks with all changes done automatically. There is an end of day close process for the inventory, which I'll cover in another tutorial. For now, I'm just going to skip it. End of day. Yes. If you go here to export orders, you'll see that there's one invoice ready to be exported. To export the invoice, I simply click export and it'll go to QuickBooks. ABC1103. I open up QuickBooks, go to find, and there's the invoice. 572.43. We've just created a pre-order in the back office, sent it down to the delivery driver, and had the delivery driver print out the ticket, collect proof of delivery, and invoice the customer. Then the driver was able to transmit that invoice to the back office where it went into QuickBooks with all changes that were made to it, which in this case were credits. Thank you for watching this installment of the Lace Up tutorial series. For more information, visit our website at www.laceupsolutions.com or subscribe to our channel for weekly content. Thank you and have a great day.